Okay. Because here's the thing, and this is for day, not other drugs. Mm -hmm. um, if alcohol caused alcoholism, then everybody who drank would end up an alcoholic. True. So there's a difference between alcohol and alcoholism. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that there's a word she mentioned, predisposition. Mm -hmm. There's certain genes. Nilizaliwa nazo, si zile suari. Which, when I first need to start drinking, because, yes, there are people who medicate. Unaona mutu can get some trauma, somebody dies. Mm. I'm a job. Some, something mm. they cannot handle. Unaona mutu, let's say it's a guy, he doesn't shave, he doesn't bathe, hatoki kwa nyumba, haendi job, eh? na nakunywa. But then you'll find at some point Akisha deal with whatever it is. One day he just wakes up, I'm a deal, he beds, he minos, he so alikwana ji medicate because of that trauma he could handle with alcohol or other drugs. Mm. But with these genes, Nilizali Nazo, first I needed an environment where there's Pombe is legal. So if I was born in Saudi Arabia and I was a Muslim, chances of even starting is a problem. And even if I started getting it, availability is a problem. But Kenya is a wet culture. What, all the countries in the world are divided, wet and dry. Mm. Wet, alcohol is there, it is acceptable, it is available. Mm. Dry, the opposite. Mm. So then I need to start and drink long enough, and I'll use another word mm. she used, to trigger the disease I was born with. Now, once I trigger, so you start, first I'm not drinking. Oh, Baba Yangu alisama ni watu wazima. Eh, siwezi pata dem. Okay? Some will be introduced labda circumcision, unambiwa now you are a man, sijui nini pombe, other with, so whichever way you get there, like Sir Henry Sale, bora umefika. So someone could have the disease dani yake na jui. Ajui. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And one way again of knowing, is the way again she has said, before you start drinking, check your family history. Mm -hmm. If your parents or nini or cousins or uncles, there's a history of problems with alcohol or other drugs. And in our family, the guys who have died from Pombe, watch other drugs, can feel langata. Watch other active ones who are still, these are my cousins, my uncles, my what, my nini. Okay? Now, once I have triggered, so I start from non-drinking to social drinking, I'm in control, to hazardous or problem drinking, okay, heavy drinking, and alcoholism and drunkenness look very similar, symptoms, the, the, the outcomes. Then you reach the border. Now, na imbiwa vizuri, tuendele ama tusiendele, and the alcoholic sana sana atasema tuendele. Then you are deported from that country of controlled drinking. Alcoholism right now basically is once I drink, the drink is in charge. To quote uh, Professor Hamo, in my book also, which is not yet published, <laughs> eh, I say if your body is a car, so this car registration is devil God. Steering is my brain. Right now I'm driving. Give me even a teaspoon of Pombe, David B. David A is in the passenger seat, saying, please, to see to me, I own your school fees. Upon I own your house rent. Upon I own your Kupeleka BB salon. David A, B is saying, where was it, Belt Buddha? Today we want to see how fast this car can go. So right now, if I tell you, I've stayed all this time, this is my 20th year since I stopped drinking, but a day at a time, let me go and have one. Shida ilikuwa crate. Once I take that one, David B says, eh. Okay. <coughs> sour, sour. Uh, for, after drinking in 20 years, mm -hmm. for drinking in 20 years, this means he sustained the employment of a few people working for alcohol companies. 27. Kuna watu wali, eh, 27. Kuna watu walilipa school fees, uh, you are David O'Gold. 27 years? Yes. Start and to what stop. made you stop? <laughs> Eh, nikisema ukweli ni mungu because what happened mm -hmm. me I used to disappear mm -hmm. four days, five days mm -hmm. eh? I go to Mombasa, how? Mm -hmm. I had gone to town mm -hmm. <laughs> Latema Road, nearby here Modern Green, MG mm -hmm. 
guys are booked they are going to Mombasa jioni mm -hmm. so they enter wanakunywa kingoja basi ya saine me i'm playing my guitar stupid songs eh? i wish you were coming with us see si, me i can come but you don't have clothes nini what what Mombasa is hot i'll buy t-shirt they go they book me a ticket na nyumbani they know i went to town this was five days ago now i end in Mombasa we arrived at four. These guys, they'll buy one or two beers. Ikisha kuja mornings, they're going shugulizao. Mm -hmm. I am in Mombasa with no money, just a guitar. The guitar will bring money. Ah. Then, there was a day now I drank for four days. I went home, I told my wife, let's go to the local bar. I stay in Langata. Mm -hmm. Home pub, still there. I signed the register. Mm -hmm. So I told her, if you are with me, sit a car. I just want to stay Kidogo, we sign register to Rudy. Mm -hmm. The DJ was not there. I ended up DJing up to money. Mm -hmm. Of course, being given money. Mm -hmm. Apewe, zingine na balisha. Now, coming back to the house, I'm trying to think. Imagine, I've been out four days. Now this is day five. Mm -hmm. Though I'm with madame. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to think, now I've got money. Do I go back to town? That was what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. When I entered that house, the words which came out of my mouth, I told my wife who sing here, Kitanda, we are going rehab. Wow. We are going rehab. Now, uh, my, my parents used to have some business with Akamba bus services. Mm -hmm. So just over a year before, mm -hmm. my mom had taken me, my late mom had taken me and my wife to those guys, paid for two tickets to a rehab, those sides of Homer Bay, mm -hmm. and said, if the guy, the director from that place will call that she has left my son, her husband there, mm -hmm. then you issue another ticket for her to return. Mm -hmm. Then gave me a thousand bob, gave her a thousand bob. This is for the safari. My mom in the other car left. I told my wife, bring that money. I gave her 200, Minika in gear green. Now over a year later, mm -hmm. and she thinks I'm joking. Then I go, I call Akamba guys. They say there's a bus at 10 in the morning. I say, I can't make it. That's now around 7 or something. Mm -hmm. I can't make it. What's the next bus? They are saying then tomorrow. I said, no, I must go today. Where were those words coming from? Entering the house, I'm saying, do I go to I'm an yoga kwanza. I'm an ilale kidogo. Because now I'm loaded. Mm -hmm. Where did those words come? And then we came to town, booked the ticket, entered the bus. When it reaches Nakuru, the Pombe, I used to budget. So I'm finishing, then I know how to top up. Mm -hmm. I threw the bottle, I told my wife, I'm not topping up. Wow. She said no. I said, and that is how I reached rehab. And I took that ticket over a year later. So come here, see Mungu. Okay. So before you respond to uh, the question of uh, why you need rehab, now you've already made the decision mm -hmm. to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, by him stopping, mm -hmm. kuna mtu alifutu wa kazi kwa kampuni ya pombe. Uh -huh. isn't, it, uh, 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 isn't it justifiable for some people to drink to sustain the economy? <laughs> you know, he, there's something he said. Eh? There's yes. uh, alcohol and there's alcoholism. Ah. There are cultures whereby, ideally, ukikumaliza food, unakunywa, kabia kamoja kako, wanasemanga, inasaidia digestion. But when it gets to a point where there's David Ogot A and David Ogot B, and over, uh, David Ogot B is overriding the normal David Ogot A, apo kuna shida. So and it's not even about the economy. I always say, when you're dealing with issues, because the economy has to run. Ukikuja leo upatiwe sahani, tuseme ya plastic. It is for you to decide. Do I need this plastic? Can I microwave it? What are the effects on my health? Okay. Y this life is yours, and that's why you're called Dr. Kingori. Okay. Me, I have my own life. He has his own life. So at the end of the day, I love what he said. Alikuja kambia wa ifiake, leo tunenda rehab. And alifika mali akasema, I am not topping up. That is, that is what we call willpower. Okay. Hakuna mtu atakutoa kwa ulevi. Ata rehab. I've seen people go to rehabs, they relapse. I've seen people go for prayers, they still go back to that drink. Because that drink is the, day, you know what he said, the part B that controls your part A. But the day you choose to rise above this control, 
I'm telling you, akuna mtu atakurudisha nyuma. It's been how long? 20 years. Mm. Thank you for making the clarification that uh, the difference ku kumbusha yo uh, alcohol mm -hmm. na alcoholism. Mm -hmm. So for the upcoming drunkard pale nyumbani, <laughs> as long as you drink just enough to pay salaries to Kosawa. Apana mimi, let me speak for myself, um, you know, because I'm, I'm really passionate about mental wellness. Muse maivi, usiingilie kwa maneno ya alcoholism, usiingilie kwa drugs. David is here to testify. 